looks pretty neat. Not like super used to using the uh, emulators, so this is <laughs> this is a proud moment for me. Oh wait, am I live? Hello, fellow heroes. I'm Action Smack Chanda, two and one hero, made up of a virus from the '70s, and a guy who likes to play things. And we are back to Google translating and Leiji Matsumoto three nine. The story of Galaxy Express 3.9, because as far as I know, this game is not available in English to very to, to any really degree. <laughs> this is one of many titles just in the PS1 old school Japanese only gem. That just is not, you know even fan translated now if you happen to know if there is a fan translation do let me know in the comments i really want to know it is important because it would make my job easier because <laughs> google sometimes just does not want to do man uh, let me tell you google does not want to put up with me trying to ask it what the heck this sentence means man this was like the the straw that broke the camel's back last stream because I was struggling with internet connection. Hopefully we won't be struggling with internet connection this time. Um, I double checked my uh, what what my internet connection was before the stream. So hopefully we won't be running into the same problems and like, you know, I, Google just was not translating and I was all like, please, though, translate this line. This is not this is not English speak. I don't know what you're trying to say. But. Um, uh, regardless, we're going to try to continue tonight. Um, I just now finished this, uh, clicking on some settings over on YouTube side. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, do this thing, right? It's like I was even trying to uh, <laughs> trying to translate this line before I hit uh, hit live. And the best I could do with Google is, um, Okage Sande, Bodygate Nista Nista Nista. Um, and that was not at all English. Uh, I wish I could communicate to Google that what it said to me when I asked it to translate Japanese into English was not at all English. <laughs> but at least it was readable, I guess. Whatever. Um, what were we doing? I think it was something along the lines of uh, my handy little robot that I got from a from a chapter or two ago when um, when we were dealing with like time travel and stuff uh, started acting up started spitting out um, battleship Yamato references and um and now I'm giving him a full new robot body with some of this technology that I found on Pluto and I got to Pluto um or not Pluto well, I got to this planet that I'm on because I went on to another train after the 3-9. This is the... I went on to the 3-6 that had a really cute um, conductor chan. And I was happy to be there, but I had to shoot some things. But anyway, um, for those who are not familiar, I am going to Google Translate the text on my smartphone and... Uh, using Google Translate, and I'm going to read it out loud to you. <laughs> if you uh, are able to read a little bit better than I can with Google Translate, do let me know in the comments or in the chat. Um, anyway, Tetsuro Hoshino says, ah, it, it suits you, because, you know, we were making this robot a body. So you, every time there's a robot voice, right, Google has a hard time reading it <laughs> and telling me the um telling me the translation for some reason because this would happen when um 
when I'm on the 3-9 and we're talking to the locomotive, which also has a robotic voice. Because Analyzer here, the robot, says, Kedo Nanda. That's not English. But Google Translate is telling me that that is the English translation of, of, of this here line. But for the most part, we could translate Tetsuro's lines. <laughs> Tetsuro says, why is your personality changing? Well, that's happening, Tetsuro, because this robot... <laughs> because Google doesn't understand what this robot is saying. Komakai Koto Kinis Luna Yosh Sui Tekoi. So once again, not at all. Why is it, why does Google Translate not know how to speak robot? You, if if there's anything that you would expect Google to be able to translate is robot. <laughs> Japanese robot. Come on, man. Hey, where are you going? That's a good question. Where is he going? I thought we was bros. Oh, also Blue Infinity 22 in the chat over on YouTube side. Good luck on the run. Thanks, man. We're going to need it because this robot does not speak anything other than uh, robo robotic Japanese and Google just can't handle robotic Japanese. I love this robot, though. It doesn't look very Leiji Matsumoto to me. I mean, it does kind of have like the Leiji like radars or whatever on it. Konodor Nakada. <laughs> Goodness gracious. What happens beyond this door? Ikara Nakani Haile. Thanks, robot. I kind of want to be able to talk to somebody other than robot at this point. <laughs> Please give me someone else. I want to talk to Conductor Chan again. Google can can, can translate Conductor Chan. Is that her? Is that Conductor Chan? Yokoso. Whoa, that is not Conductor Chan. But it is somebody that is not Robot Man. Oh, Google just translates her as Mother Computer. Welcome, Tetsuro Hoshino. I am Iskandar's Mother Computer. Why my name? Why do you know my name? Analyzer Zero's memory data has been read. Oh. Oh. Is that why is that what you were saying earlier about the transfer? By the way, even though she's a computer, she's a pretty person. You know, I can always stop and appreciate Ms. Tetsuro appreciating the cute girl, even if it's just an avatar for a computer. I hope that we can all stop and appreciate the cute girl, even though she's an avatar for a computer. Wink, wink. This is the last queen of Iskandar, Stasia. I am Stasia's will. Demo idaro, damatte listen, konoskebe. Hi. Hi. That's what I'm like every time Zero talks now. I'm like, oh, okay. I have no idea what you said, but I. <laughs> upon, once upon a time, the planet Iskandar had no choice but to be destroyed 
in a certain battle. どうして Why though? 伝説として聞いたことはあるでしょ宇宙戦艦ヤマトという名を。You probably heard of the legendary space battleship Yamato? うん。詳しくは知らないけど。And for those who don't know, who aren't aware, Space Battleship Yamato、um, is another series that Leiji Matsumoto, who's you know, responsible for this game, his name's in the title, it's part of the title, and he also made the、uh, you know, Galaxy Express 39、uh, that Tetsuro's main character of.、Um, he also had a hand in making Space Battleship Yamato, has its own manga and TV series that actually. Uh, got localized as Star Blazers many years ago. It's one of like the OG anime.、Uh, before my, my generation, it's kind of like the same people who were fans of probably Speed Racer were probably also fans of Star Blazers. Early anime fandom in America. Am I right, boys? So, Tetro. Yeah. I don't know the details, but. かつて地球とガミラス星との間に戦争が起こったのです。Once upon a time, there was a war.、Uh, a war broke out between Earth and the planet Gamelas. 地球とガミラス星の戦争 ?A war between Earth and planet Gamelas. 地球の西暦における2199年に地球はガミラスの優勢爆弾の攻撃によって滅亡の危機にありました。In the year 2199 in Earth's Western calendar, Earth was in danger of being destroyed by a planetary bomb attack from Gamelas. ガミラス星のデスラー総統は。President Dessler Of planet Gamelas is. Metsbos r u m e n i a g a m i l a s e k a r a c h i k u e n o i u k e k a k o s u s m e t e i m a s t a Planning to migrate to Earth from the doomed planet Gamelas. Taiki Chuni h o s h a n o g a n a i t o i k i t e i k e n a i g a m i l a s e j i n t a c h i w a c h i k u o h o s h a n o d e o s e n s i a j i m e t a n o d e s The Gamelas aliens who could not survive without radioactivity in the atmosphere began contaminating the Earth with radioactivity. Well, gross, they were just spreading the stank. この攻撃により、地球人は地下へと避難するしかありませんでした。Uh, due to this attack,、um, Earthlings are forced to evacuate underground. Ooh, and that's when it became Gurren Lagan. コスモクリーナーという放射能除去装置が必要でした。To remove radioactivity, we needed a radioactivity remote device called a Cosmo Cleaner. しかし、当時の地球とガミラス星では科学力に大きな開きがある。However, at the time, there was a huge difference in scientific ability between Earth and Gamelas. 地球にはその装置が存在しなかったのです。That device didn't exist on Earth. The last hour was approaching on Earth. In order to save the Earth, I sent my younger sister Sasha to Earth as a messenger. Sasha lost her life, but my messenger reached the, the people of Earth. And I am pretty sure she is just going through basically like maybe the first arc of Space Battleship Yamato. I haven't actually watched or read that much of it yet, although I think I do have a good,、uh, good chunk of it somewhere. Like、um, some of the anime, some of the manga. I just haven't gotten around to reading it or watching it. You know, time. 
Earth's engineers built space battleship Yamato based on the wave unit blueprints I sent them. They departed from Earth for Iskandar. Yamato's crew are the first Earthings to venture outside the galaxy. We fought bravely against the Garmanillions and won. Yamato no Okita Kancho no Teniote, Chikuni Mochikaerata Cosmo Kurina de Chikua Yomigaeta no des. Yamato's. Hold on. A Cosmo Cleaner was brought back to Earth by Captain Okita of Yamato, and the Earth was revived. I was like mashing the, the wrong button just now. Huh. A long time has passed since then, and the same tragedy is about to happen again. Those aliens are going to come in and stink up everything. The danger, the crisis of humanity's extinction is approaching. A powerful force is trying to exploit wave energy. Ooh. What about energy? Everyone knows that, isn't it, old-fashioned science? Wow, Tetsuro talking like he knows science like that. As if he went to school or something. As if people actually talk to him about this stuff. Tetsuro, this is, this is like the smartest version of Tetsuro I have ever seen. He's just some kid, usually. Even if it is misused, modern scientific power will quickly solve the problem. No, the wave energy theory that is currently spreading in the universe is... It's just a system that uses a small portion of that energy. Here in Iskandar, research into wave energy has been actively conducted since ancient times. And we finally succeeded in using 100% of wave energy. However, the amount of energy was far greater than the imagination of the Iskandar people. The Iskandar people sensed danger in this ultimate wave energy theory. We have permanently contained it on the mother computer and set up a monitoring system to prevent it from being misused. And many years have passed since then, and the Kaiskandar has also perished. And the theory of ultimate wave energy completely disappeared from people's memories. People other than Tetsuro, apparently, because Tetsuro knows all about wave energy. The way he talking. 
あるとき一人の若い科学者がこの星にやってきました But one day a young scientist came to this planet. 彼大山博士は遺跡を調べ波動エネルギー理論のことをいろいろと調べていきました He was a Dr. Oyama investigated the ruins and researched various things about wave energy theory. The Dr. Oyama was it Toshiro or could be Tochiro?、Um, <laughs> just kind of that entire bloodline has been an ongoing thing in this,、uh, in this game so far. So, mu- so much Toshiro. So much Tochiro. He's, he's a smart dude, no matter what version, no matter what generation. What a dang nerd! So, what do you think about the fact that he's a smart dude? He's a smart dude. He's a smart dude. He's a smart dude. And apparently, that was all he needed to arrive at the ultimate theory of wave energy. Analyzer Zero の情報では、この大山博士は。According to information that from, to information from Analyzer Zero, this, is doc, this Dr. Oyama is. Sanada Hakase of Kumeta, Sunin no staff de Hado Energy no Kenku o Konate ita yo des. It seems that several staff members, including Dr. Sanada, were conducting research on wave energy. Oh, now we're bringing in Dr. Sanada. So it's probably Toshiro that she's talking about. Because、um, Dr. Sanada, back a couple chapters ago,、uh, was the doctor that we were looking for, but he had passed away、um, sometime after changing shadows. Body. I think that's when we were on Pluto or something. <laughs> around there. It was around there, I think. Right? Something like that? Dr. Sonida? Who's Dr. Sonida? So, the son of the son of the son of And then the mighty power that became aware of its existence. We are about to capture the ultimate wave until here in Iskandar. Or wait, hold on. We are about to capture the ultimate wave unit here in Iskandar. Iskandar. Mr. Tetsuro Hoshino, please protect the unit. Protect the good boy robot. Is this the ultimate wave unit? But why me? Because you are the inheritor of the will of Dr. Oyama and Dr. Sanada. Sanada Hakase wa Hatta Toki niya sude ni nakunate ita si Oyama Hakase nante kita koto mona yo. Dr. Sanada had already passed away when I met him. And I had never heard of Dr. What do you mean you've never heard of Dr. Oyama? Tetsuro, your memory is as bad as mine, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> forgetting people, forgetting your friends. Come on, man. Me, I'm probably just getting my lore mixed up. I, you were talking to these people like actually face to face, like、uh, not that long ago. Dr. Sanada's con.、Uh, come on, Google.、Uh, Dr. Sanada's consciousness is stored in Analyzer Zero. So, s t e And Dr. Oyama is the one who made the gun you have. Wait, so the Dr. Oyama he's, she's talking about is that Tochiro? Question mark? As opposed to Toshiro. So, you are the one who made the gun you have. 
hope she I, I wish she wouldn't just call them doctor. Come on, man. Use first names too, Starcia. Besides, you met Dr. Oyama on Earth. But please, protect the unit. It is an absolute unit. Alright. So, um... I have... Ooh, what's this? Now it's message, Moichido Regeneration Tsuruka. What? Uh, cup. Mm. Yes, please. Oh, is this just telling me the lore again? I kind of don't really need that. Oh, leave me alone, Starcia. I don't need the history lesson again. That took a very long time to read. I'm like still out of breath from it. Stop talking to me. Ooh. At least I think this is all stuff that I already translated. Yeah, sure. I'm pretty sure I... It's all the same stuff. Man, if only... If only my robot asked me questions in English, I probably would have been able to answer it in such a way that would communicate that I don't want the entire history again. Ooh. We're just still talking. There we go. Oh my gosh. Alright, so do I just keep this robot? Keep this uh, unit with me? Something's gonna come and shoot me for it, I bet. Okay, as soon as I get back to Conductor Chan, she's gonna be all like, Oh, hey Tetsuro, there's a bullet in me right now. Oh. And then I get shot. It'd be a shame if I didn't go home soon. You're right. So let's leave Tetsuro. Actually, I don't remember which way's back, way back. Um, I'll run around until I feel like I've reached something. It's not this door, is it? No, this is the way I came in, right? Right? Gosh. All right, how about this way? Is this the way home? Is this the way back to my conductor Chan? I miss her. This may tell. What is she doing right now? She just chilling? Chilling in a hotel room or something? Taking a bath? Eating cashews? Whoops, whoa. Almost went the wrong direction there. Darn it, camera! Stop being so disorienting. There we go. Go, Tetsuro. You have to see Conductor Chan. She might actually not be okay right now. She she seems like a little bit of a klutz. A little bit ditzy. Kinda into it actually. I'm not sure if I'd actually want to uh go on a train in space conducted by her, if I'm going to be completely honest. Oh, there she is. Conductor Chan. So is the train ready? <gasps> ah, you're finally back. I was worried. You were worried. Man, I was kind of worried about you. Has it been fixed? Yeah, it's fixed. Um, what were you doing? I was already feeling sad. Ah, she missed us. Sorry, sorry. Well, 
Well, for now, please get on board quickly. What happened? I, you, you, you're panicked. Whoa. Please translate that. Whoa, that is not words, Google. Come on. Man, she really is panicking. Google's not handling it. Goodness, Google can't even do this like horizontally correctly. Hold on. Google, please. The battleship of Gamalas is going to fly out of the way. Is that really what she's saying? Gosh. The Neo Gamalas ship has been asking for some units for some time now. That sounds scary. The ultimate wave unit? Ah, that's it. But how do you know? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, let's hurry back to the trader. Right. Wait, I'm the conductor. <laughs> sure you are, Conductor Chan. Sure you are. Tetsuro still calls the shots, though. He's the chosen one. Chosen by Dr. Oyama. Who Tetsuro doesn't remember. Also, Dr. Sanada, who Tetsuro might also not remember. But in Tetsuro's defense, he does run into a lot of people. Can't remember everybody you meet, you know? Oh no! They'll catch up? It's useless. What? Hold on. Go, go! Oh no! They're catching up! <laughs> Let's just run away as much as we can. Right. Ah, uh, a missile is fired. Oh, get shot at again. Huh? Even though it hit us directly. We're lucky. No, they're going to capture us alive. Ooh, that one went for, straight for the window. <laughs> They're for real trying to destroy us in the face. But why, though? As expected, you have the unit you mentioned earlier, right? Uh, she figured Tetsuro out. She's all like, I know you're full of crap, you, you little boy. You have that in wave unit. Uh, sorry, just run away at full speed. It's impossible. M missiles cannot be avoided. Missile really high tech. I'll do something about the missiles. I'll go shoot some stuff the way Tetsuro is able to do. He's pretty good at it at this point. Shooting the things. Using a turret, I guess. That was a struggle, actually. Last episode. <laughs> Alright. Uh, how do I use this? Okay. Okay. I can do this. Okay, I just have to shoot these things. It's my text. It is really hard to aim this thing if I don't have a right floor or anything. Already a half of our machines down. There we go. Ooh, I think we're winning though. Doing much better than last time. Do this, you nerds! 
Yeah, whoa, whoa, whoa. Still got laser coming out badly. Oh, I win. Yeah. Oh, did you see that? Took care of it all in one shot. Hopefully all that shooting didn't, like, destroy your eardrums. Actually, I might be worried about Tetsuro's eardrums. That's pretty noisy. Doesn't have any head protection or anything. He's just out there, man. Firing his dang old lasers. <laughs> but that was much easier than the last time. Oh, we still have action music on. No, I can't hold on anymore. I had to run out of there. <laughs> oh, that's... The universe is distorted? What are you saying, Conductor Chan? Whoa! The universe distorted. Is that, is that the Yamato? It looks like the Yamato. Is it shooting at me? Oh. oh no, it's saving us! Good. Wow, oh, they were able to destroy all that in one shot. I'm glad that they were able to identify the other guys as the enemy, not us. Alright. I only saw it once in an old photo. The legendary space battleship. Yamato. That's Yamato? It's a big boy ship. Doing big boy ship things. That my 3-6 train can't handle. Gosh, why is Conductor Chan's train so cursed? Why she gotta be so cute? Gosh, Conductor Chan, just marry me already. So how was it? <laughs> that was a nightmare. What the heck, Conductor Chan? Huh? How was it? I almost died. I have some good memories from the trip. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> She's like not Tetsuro's type at all. She's my type. I want to marry her. <laughs> ah, that's right. I'll give you this card. Oh, uh, what is this? I found this while repairing a, a train in Iskandar. Take this with you as a souvenir for, of our trip. Obtained a character card! Alright! We got another character card. I hope it's a character card of Conductor Chan. Please come again. <laughs> That's enough, but thank you. <laughs> Goodbye, Conductor Chan. I will miss you always. Ooh, Trash Gamer 93 over on Twitch side in the chat. Let the cheek clapping commence. <laughs> sure, sure, Trash Gamer 93. Also, how are you doing today? I hope you're having a fine day. Oh, you hope you're having a fantastic day, in fact. Kokodeo Separate Radar. Um, what is why don't you go with me? Me three nine no pass mochite naishinya. I I think he's saying that he doesn't have a pass for the three nine, so he's not gonna come with me under the three nine. Oh, Trash Gamer 93 on Twitch side says he is having a good day. Excuse me. Uh, yes, I'm glad. Tetsuro no kage de karada mo te ni haitta kido kawari ni 
ツリーナインゴーには乗れなくなっただろう。おかげで、バディーハチニーズ。おっ。ガシ、グーゴー。Please, translate robot speech. テトラのおかげで、a body has a hand. Me, three nine. Two power, Rechiku, Rechiku, not the Tadaro. Tatuma, you could go on, look at because you because you do have somewhere to go. Oh, so that's your day. Who can you could ever? Whoa, that's not a robot voice. Who's talking? Yataran, Yataran. Oh, that's exactly right. If you come to my house, right. Yataran, Yataran, that is a character from Space Pirate Captain Harlock. Also, we saw him way at the beginning of the game, back when we were still hanging out with、um, with our other friend. What's his name? From Queen Emeraldus. Anyway, Yataran, does that mean that we're about to see Captain Harlock? Is that boy? Oh, it's gonna be so. Oh. Some days, Uncle. Why, Yataran, you ne? Wow. Well, um, I go by Yataran. Asan, I know it's no one, Jin, I see. You got the Rakono Ponko to Hito Rude. You are a lifesaver. So, if you don't mind, I'll put. I'll pull this ponytail away. What, um, yeah, yeah, which are you to each in Mukazo from the old in Yasaki? You must have a story, study, who hit him, but a hint, you know. We have forty one people in our family, so even if we have one or two more people, it's weird. Kotsute Oreno Kotoka. Oh, ah, Gome, Kikotota. Tokoro de Ponkotsu, Sake Skika. Oh, sorry, did you hear that?、Uh, by the way, and、uh, do you like drinking? Oh, Sake Skia Tokoro de Ona Iruka. Oh, I love sake. Tokoro de on Nile Dolphin? Ano. Oh. Tetra does not know what to say in this conversation. And I imagine it's largely because his robot only speaks Japanese. <laughs> There is an exceptionally beautiful woman. <laughs> Wait, does my robot like cute girls? Now that's what I'm talking about. That's my robot. What a pon kotsu today? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, cute girls. I didn't realize my robot liked cute girls like that. And yet, he decided to deny staying with、uh, Conductor Chan. Almost offended. I wonder. I wonder what cute girl Yatron was talking about. Maybe he was talking about Kei Yuki? Because that's like the only cute girl I could think of、um, on Harlock's ship. <laughs> I guess there's also、uh, Mime. She's not human, though, but I don't think robots would care that much. They're gone. Hey, what's going on? Good for you. I hope you're doing well, Zero. <laughs> Gonna go hang out on Captain Harlock's spaceship. Be part of the crew. Actually, they already have a. A zero on that crew. They have Dr. Zero. 
like their medical doctor, I think his name is Zero. But now they're going to have a robot Zero, Analyzer Zero. It's like having two Steves in one crew. Can I still talk to Conductor Chan? Will you go again? The answer is no, I'm not going to go back. <laughs> Let's not joke. Let's see, should I go try to find Maytel? Will Maytel be up here? I haven't actually gone and looked around in town or anything. I really just went to Iskandar. Need to go look for secrets. There has to be secrets up here. Maybe there's other cute girls other than Conductor Chan. What am I loading? Did I accidentally go to a different map? Ooh, yeah, I actually can go out. Didn't even try earlier. I was all like, oh, sweet Conductor Chan. That. Yeah, what? Whoa. Google, what does that say? Do you know anything about the machine count? Count Mecca? Is this the current location of planet Tate? Uh, planet planet? Yeah. Then you just say Count Mecca? Oh, that's right. Uh, I want to know the current location of Planet Tate. Uh, which train should I take? <laughs> Don't be stupid. There's no way the train is leaving, right? Uh, you say something crazy. Hey, I'm just kidding. But seriously, how does anyone know where... Uh, does anyone know where Planet Tate is? I really was not expecting an actual conversation from this random dude. Ah, uh, that's right. Emeraldus probably knows this. But if you talk to her casual, she'll kill you. Oh, I know. She's kind of one of those rough on the outside kind of gals. Are you really that rough tempered, Emeraldus san? Of course, her name is Emeraldus. She's a famous. Uh, she's a female pirate who shuts up and cry <laughs> who shuts up even crying children and that means you kid better not be crying she knows when you're awake a female pirate where is she she says she sometimes shows up at meta brady's bar Meta Brady? You can go to Meta Brady by train from here. Ooh. Wow, that's an actual lead. I can actually get there. Oh, thank you. Wait, do I have to get there with Conductor Chan? I'm both excited and a little bit afraid. <laughs> we might get shot. Might have to do battle. Might get attacked by more pirates? Well, I guess that's the idea I'm supposed to go find Emeraldus. Alright, where did I just walk into? I just walked into a random place. This hotel? It's very hotel-like. Maybe I need to go find Maytel. Maytel! Maytel! Where are you? Well, am I in a cutscene? No, I'm not. That's where I just decided to take a couple steps on his own. I don't know if 
if any of these are actually in my hotel room. I'm just gonna walk into one. Am I in here? Okay, we're cutscening. It's Maytel! Ah, uh, even if I never get to hang out with Conductor Chan again, I at least get to hang out with Maytel. And that is always a win in my book. Maytel says, welcome back. <laughs> that was some mumbling if I ever heard any. Tetsuro, what's wrong with you? I see, got it. The mystery has been solved. It looks like fun, huh? Listen, Mattel, the robot blurted out. Kodai, Mori, Yuki, Shima, Namuru, Susumu. Ancient times, forests, snow, islands, protecting, advancing. <laughs> Actually, that was um, that was a list of names of the members of the space battleship Yamato. Let's see here. Um, Blue Infinity on YouTube side says that her design is so familiar. He swears that he's seen her somewhere before. That's the thing about Maytel. You probably have seen her somewhere before. And she is simply the legend in your mind. Everybody has a Maytel, as the story goes. <laughs> but also, when it comes to um, characters like in Leiji Matsumoto, for one thing, <laughs> Leiji Matsumoto's characters just kind of have all the same face. So if you ever seen a Leiji Matsumoto character, uh, chances are it could have been just like any Leiji Matsumoto character. They all look the same. But Maytel is a pretty famous character, and you'll probably even see the same thing when you see Captain Harlock. He's also a pretty famous character, and Tetsuro himself is pretty famous. Um, Galaxy Express 3.9 is just one of those series where it's highly in, um, influential. Um, so you're likely to have at least seen references to Galaxy Express 3.9. Um, as long as you consume uh, Japanese pop culture media or things influenced by Japanese pop culture media, um, it's just pretty likely. Like even Star Wars <laughs> will show off some uh, references to Galaxy Express 3.9. Tetsuro says, I'm sure there are forests and islands, and if you look for a snowy planet, you'll find an ancient treasure or something. <laughs> Think carefully, Tetsuro. Most planets have forests, islands, and snow. I see. That's right. I wonder what that was all about. Tetsuro, I'm going to take a bath. Uh, please take a bath later. Alright. Mitao taking a bath? Whoa! YouTube, it's okay. We didn't see anything. We didn't see any knobs. It's fine. The stream can keep going. <laughs> I was not expecting to be served, but I will always say that I'm a Maytel fan. And I will always enjoy being served. But no one has ever died from not taking a bath. Oh, okay. That was, I guess the conversation was largely Tetsuro um, complaining about needing to take a bath. That's one of his character, <laughs> character things is that he doesn't like taking baths. 
And Maytel just kind of being a maternal figure was all like, you need to, you stink, kid. Stop being a stinky boy. Hot. And okay. There you go. Get in the bath, you stinky, smelly boy. Get that Conductor Chan smell off of you. I miss her. I hope I see Conductor Chan again. Mm, taking a bath feels like a terrible waste of time. Gosh. Tetsuro sounds like he's about to join the FGC. The way he talking. Ah, huh, Mito, where did you go? I'm hungry, even though I'm hungry. No sign of coming back. Okay, at times like this, we need to be self-sufficient. <laughs> I guess I'm just gonna go find something to eat. Maybe I can find more free ramen. Now, what should we eat? It would be nice if there was a ramen shop. Oh, look at us. Same wavelength, you and me, Tetsuro. Whoa! Bro, what was that? <laughs> was it a person? What the? Tetsuro okay? Now, this is a pretty lengthy chapter. I went to another... I went to a completely other planet. Came back. Got attacked. Twice. And I'm getting attacked again. All without having to save. I hope I don't get attacked a third time. Or I have to retaliate. What is happening? Uh, my, am I on the 3-9? No, the 3-9 doesn't have all these people. The 3-9's too... Too snooty for this. You know, what about... What about here? Ooh, is this a completely other conductor chan? Oh, no, it's somebody named Hanako. You're on the train bound for Nonohana. What? Why am I on the train bound for Nonohana? Oh, is Hanako the lady beside Tetsuro right now? A nice lady. You'll go back to Wild Flowers with me. Excuse me? Huh? Why? Oh, don't shout. It'll bother the other passengers. I think Tetsuro has 100% been kidnapped <laughs> this is what happens Mato. this is what happens when you don't keep an eye on the boy all of a sudden Tetsuro getting kidnapped by some crazy lady and taken to some other planet on some other train and I don't even have conductor Chan I miss her sorry Tetsuro you don't need to apologize to this lady she's crazy well, actually, you know what? You should still be polite to crazy people. Be like Tetsuro. Don't listen to me. Be polite to crazy people. So, um... Yeah. Actually, I do think this is an episode. This does happen in an episode of the anime. If I remember correctly, there was just an episode where... Tetsuro just had to go to this planet full of flowers. Had no Maytel. I guess had to hang out with Hanako. Wow! It's full of flowers. Oh, 
Flowers aren't rare here, Hanako. Wait, what? Hanako says, flowers aren't rare here. Why did you bring me to this place? I wanted to show you my... I wanted to show you to my parents. Uh, to Ryoshi? I guess to your parents. I've been working for a long time and my parents are getting older. Uh, I guess she just wanted to show off her cool young boyfriend. Space laws are different. How does she know your name? It's about time I showed you the person I... It's about time I showed them the person I'm marrying. And I want to reassure you, Tetsuro. Why did you call me by name? I'm sure you already know your fiance's name. Goodness gracious. <laughs> yeah, yeah, th like it's coming back to me because this this was like super creepy. <laughs> Tetsuro is like 12 years old, max. And that's like, that's like stretching it, man. <laughs> it's creeped out, creeped out by this episode. It's Hanako, man. And this is my home, or should I say our hope? <laughs> After all, it's not good, I'm... Google, translate. I'm going home. Listen, lady, you need to get in line. First of all, I have Maytel. Second of all, after Maytel, it's clearly going to be Conductor Chan. The best you can do is third. Why, even though I'm asking for so much? <laughs> Blue Infinity. Yugi slamming fists on the floor. That should have been me! <laughs> uh, well, the thing about Hanako is that she's she's not exactly a cute girl. She's like 50. <laughs> she's been working her, her entire life. She might not actually be 50. She just looks older than she actually is because she's been having to work really hard all her life. I hope that, <laughs> um, but you know what, the, the biggest turnoff is that she knocked him out, he's like 12, and then she kidnapped him so that she could have a rom-com with him. And it's not just a regular rom-com, it's, it's like one of those creepy rom-coms. <laughs> I understand that you want to reassure your elderly parents, but um, I'm 12. <laughs> Ten, maybe. Eight, even. <laughs> I get younger the more I think about how old I am. That's how young Tetsuro is. And look at Hanako. Now she's crying. Ugh. It's so sneaky. No, it's no good. Even if you cry, I'm still going to be 12 years old. One night, just one night is fine. No, no, Hanako. One night is illegal. Stop it. My parents, I want to make my parents happy. But. <laughs> Blue Infinity says, I can fix her. <laughs> Just give me six years. I'll pay you back tomorrow. I'll pay the train fare to uh, to the trader. Well, not. You will not be able to fix it. When when does the 3-9 leave? When does my train leave? 
I want to get off this planet. I miss Mato. Can I hang out with Conductor Chan? Okasan. Mama. Hanako guy. Uh, Hanako. Okasan, gomen ne, zutto modoranakute. Mama, sorry I didn't come back for a long time. That's fine as long as you're okay. What about your father? Uh, the letter said he wasn't feeling well, but. He's sleeping. He feels weak these days. Is that Hanako's voice? So yo. That's right. Oh, Hanako. Oh, Hanako. I'm sorry I didn't come home for such a long time. I just thought about going home, but I never had time to go home. It's fine, it's fine, as long as you stay healthy and work and pick up strange boys from the train station. You know what, I think I figured out the problem. The problem is Tetsuro took a bath, and as soon as he did, strangers come picking him up. See, if he had his usual Tetsuro Musk, Tetsuro brand Musk, this wouldn't have happened. This is Maytel's fault in reality. Yeah, that person may be... Huh? This is my fiancé, Tetsuro Hoshino. See here, my choices are self-introduction or deny. Let's see here. Blue Infinity says this scene is almost one-to-one -one in Hunter x Hunter with the Gon and that Yandere. I actually have not watched any Hunter x Hunter yet, but I think I have an idea of what you're talking about because um, uh, my good old friend Primo uh, was telling me about uh some older girl being into Gon, the main character of Hunter x Hunter. And Trash Gamer 93 over on Twitch side says Yu Yu Hawk Show has tilted him a little and he'll vacuum his room and nap for a bit. Good for you. That that's a flex. Blue says his natural musk is why he never get mommy 50 year old kidnapping him. Yes, actually, Blue, that is 100% why. <laughs> that I, I'm glad that we were able to figure out your uh, life issues. That is, that is the reason. That's the difference between you and Tetsuro. You take baths and Tetsuro um, bathes in Riz. <laughs> I'm not even sure if I used that correctly. Um, let's go with the self-introduction. I'll humor her. Ho Hoshino Tetsuro desu. Um, Tetsuro Hoshino. Hanako no chichi desu. I'm Hanako's father. Haha desu. And I'm the mom. Yoroshiku onegai shimasu. Ah, oh, thank you. Nice to meet you. Hello. I see. I'm glad you found a good person. It was worth all the hard work. Yeah. Uh, that beautiful girl has become so haggard. Wow, okay, man. 
<笑>結婚しても仕事を続けなきゃならないのかい Do I have to continue working even if I.、Uh, does she have to continue working even if she gets married? Eh, Toreda, Bukamotakaisi, Tetro Sano Shunu Dake, Tai Henano. Yeah, prices are high for traders, and Tetro's income alone is not enough.、Uh, largely because Tetro is a 12 year old boy. He does not have income.、Uh, he has not, he's not old enough for a job. That is against child labor laws. <laughs> By the way, what is Tetsuro san's occupation? 12 year old. His occupation is little boy. Shonen, some might even say. All right, well, well, let's see what my answer choices are. Office worker. Or unemployed. Well, you know, if we're gonna. <laughs> if we're gonna already just live this life for Hanako, we may as well be a baller. I'm an office worker. I'm a salary man. I work at a travel related company. Well, travel. How wonderful. Because it, that's why Tetsuro san has to travel a lot. Hanako, Hanuka, don't, don't complain about your husband to be being busy with work. He'll get kicked out of it. Hi. Okay. <laughs> Father, please. Please preach to Hanako as soon as she gets home. <laughs> Just remembering the past. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, that's okay. It's okay. I'm relieved that Hanako found a kind husband who gets money. But by the way, What about the ceremony? Ceremony? Oh my gosh. Soon? Or no plans yet? I'm gonna say it's soon because it sounds like her parents might not have long in this world. <laughs> well, soon. Uh, Tetsuro is busy with his work right now, so I don't have time for that. I can't help it if he's busy. That's why once Tetsuro has settled down, we're talking about having a ceremony. Right, Tetsuro? Right. So, it's a good thing to go to Kundeska. So, when will you. When will work settle down? Mada, mada, Tobun Sakio. Oh, it's still a long way off. So, then, then, eh? Yeah, it's a shame. No, what's important is not to hold. No, the important thing is not to hold the ceremony. <laughs> the feelings of the two of us are important. 
The feelings of the two of you are important. <laughs> I understand. Tetsuro, this is a child who has had a hard time talking about the, the lady beside you, not you. Even though Tetsuro, I'm pretty sure you are a child that has a hard time because you're, you're a kid. Please cherish Hanako forever. For a long time. I beg you. Yes, of course. Aw. That, that seems like a really sad promise to have to make. Because in all honesty, I do not plan on marrying Hanako. Not before I marry Conductor Chan. Definitely not before I marry Meito. Good for you, Hanako. Are you okay? Yes, it's just the usual cough, but he has to lie down now. <laughs> <laughs> Tetsuro, please take care of Hanako. Ugh. <laughs> Who wrote this one, darn it? Matsumoto! Who came up with this? This this one that makes me feel both strange and it's also so bad. This is the worst shape in the anime. Thanks for the meal. Domo, domo. Right, right. I wanted to. S I wanted you to stay the night longer, but it's not. But it's not an urgent job. Please come slowly this time. Mm. Phrasing, old man. Right. Sorry to bother you. You'll be back. Then. Your daughter will be sent home soon. Hold on, what? My daughter will be home soon. Okay. Uh, well, well then I'll be back in three, three eyes. What? <laughs> Google. Oh, there you go. Well, I'll be back in two or three days. Yeah, I'll be waiting. Yes, skip on the way home. Thank you. Whisper secrets. Ah, oh, sweet. <laughs> well, this is a nice planet, though. It has all these pretty flowers. Ah, oh, sweet, Mattel. What is she doing over here? How was it, Hanako's, ha Hanako's house? Why did Mattel know about all of that and did nothing? Like, is Maytel aware that Hanako straight up concussed <laughs> Tetsuro, picked him up and took him to this planet? And the meal was delicious, but why? Why 
I almost arrived here. If he knew you should have called me, that was creepy. I'm glad that Tetsuro acknowledges 100% that that was absurd. Hanako's parents were were happy with that, so I couldn't interfere. No, you're losing points for this, Maytel. I'm pretty sure Conductor Chan would have done something. Really? That was great, Tetsuro. For Hanako's sake. Hanako will be forever grateful. Hanako's parents seemed to realize it was an act. Oh, okay. <laughs> they looked at Tetsuro and were all like, why is she playing? Whatever, we'll play along. <laughs> You're not stupid. What did you say? Well then... <laughs> Tetsuro was all like, But my acting was spot on! <clears throat> it's okay. It's not Tetsuro's fault. It wasn't your performance. It was just the fact that you are just a 12-year-old boy and she's like 49. And yet, they welcomed me so warmly. They made me food. They didn't even make me pay for it. I was about to pay for some ramen. Oh, they were really happy. Hanako's consideration for her parents, Tetsuro's consideration for Hanako-san. Your parents' compassion for you was born because that feeling was conveyed to you. But then, it's too unrewarding. Hanako and her parents. No, those people are very happy. Even if they just had to pretend that their daughter was actually going to get married to some kid. Actually, they might have been happier knowing that she, she was lying about that part. It's the thought that counts, really, Tetsuro. I learned how to live strong even without weapons or eternal life. Well, thanks for flexing, Meitel. Strong family ties, strong trust, and that was brought about by Tetsuro's kindness. Now stop crying. Let's go home. <laughs> uh, a way to end it like an Asian mom. You stop crying. <laughs> Thanks, Mito. But why me? Uh, you took a bath and went outside. Oh, see, look, Maytel agrees with me. It's because he took off his natural Tetsuro musk when he took a bath. You took a bath and went outside. <laughs> Your bath? Tetsuro 
A trader is a place where many travelers come and go, but they all stank. And people who make you smell like soap are probably travelers who can afford it. <laughs> Trash Gamer93 on Twitch side says, I can't tell what the main character's mouth is, bro. It, I'm tweaking. <laughs> Alright. Um <clears throat> Alright, the um the 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 bump in the middle is his nose and and the slit close to the bottom of the head, like the, like close to the chin, that's his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so maybe it was me. Of course, that's not all. I'm sure Tetsuro seemed like a good natured person. In that case, I didn't ha I didn't have to hit him at all, but she wasn't a bad person. Wait, what? In that case, I didn't have to hit her at all, but she wasn't a bad person. What? Oh, wait, okay. <laughs> um, again, to explain why I'm struggling so much is... Uh, Google Translate does not handle pronouns very well, so like they, they really just throw in random stuff. Alright, but what I think what it's trying to say is, um, in that case, she didn't have to hit me at all, but she wasn't a bad person, because she she knocked out Tetsuro and kidnapped him. So, yeah, she's doing her best to survive. I forgot to have a. She, she forgot to have a lover. She just got older. Ah, びっくりしたよ。若い時の写真ではとても美人だったのに。Ah, I was surprised. She looked so beautiful in photos when she was younger. And Tetsuro, that person works as hard as she can to live. She tried her best to reassure her parents. She's living her limited life to the fullest. That's a beautiful thing. Yeah, that's right. Like Pluto's shadow, some people chase a apparent beauty and regret it for a long time. I will live my life as hard as my father and mother. They tell? I wonder what happened. She looks so sad. She looks so lonely. Now that I think about it, I wonder what kind of people Meitel's parents are. I never heard of it. But I haven't... All right. <laughs> I bet the narrator is about to come on in a second. 
I'll tell us some narrator things. Oh wow, no, I'm moving in. Wow, this is a long Let's chapter. Mito, can we take another local line and go to another planet? How long are we on this station? Yes, there are many stars that you can take a day trip to, so it's a good idea to go there. Gosh, can you imagine going on a day trip to another planet, coming back, and then just going on another one? Man, space. Then I'll be in my room. <laughs> She's like, go have fun, kid. Gosh, good thing Maytel's not actually his mom because, like, she would actually be one of the worst at this point. She literally allowed Tetsuro to get kidnapped, taken to another planet, get married, just so she could teach him a lesson about life. <laughs> and then when we get back, she's all like, all right, well, go ahead and do it again. You can't believe it. But can I go to another planet with um with Conductor Chan? I want to see Conductor Chan again. Will she take me somewhere else? I don't want to go to Iskandar. Place is dangerous. Almost died twice. I don't remember. <laughs> How long is this layover, man? How many weeks are we going to be here? Can I go somewhere with Conductor Chan? It's your time to shine. Will you go again? Oh, you gotta be kidding. Alright, well. Looks like Tetsuro does not want to hang out with Conductor Chan. What a chump. Alright, well, is there another train I could take? Can I... Well, actually, can I go there with the 3-9 then? Is that what I'm supposed to do? To talk to uh, my conductor? That's right, you can record the status of your trip so far, but, uh... What do you do with it? Oh, well, that means I can save? Now, let's save it in the database of issue 39. Oh, I can actually save. I don't actually have to just do the save state. They know. They know that this chapter is actually pretty long. There we go. Cool. But what other planets are we going to go to? And who's going to take me there? If it's not going to be Conductor Chan. I really just want to hang out with her again. Maybe shoot some more pirates. Have her tell me how cool she thinks I am. Tetsuro pretending like she's not the most adorable thing. All right, well, let me go find another train. Another train, another planet to be on. Is there something over this direction? Any other trains? Oh, there are other trains over here. see any other conductors there's just this person this regular looking person i'll talk to them maybe i'll find emeraldus that would be cool i want to ride to the planet username but i don't know which train i should take actually i just arrived on this planet and i don't really understand Uh, that's right, traders often get lost because there are so many trains running through the area. There are so many trains. Do I just hop onto one? Are they free? I wonder which train I should take. First, let's listen to the stories in town. Oh, okay. I can't just hop on a train going anywhere. I have to go, um, I have to go actually learn things about places. 
I have to go figure out where I want to go. I can't just go to some random planet. Even though that is 100% what I did in this chapter so far. I go to random planet. May or may not be under my own control. Actually, they have 100% been not under my control. Ooh, this guy's just talking to me. I didn't even prompt anything. It continues into a residential area, so I don't think there's any point in going there if you're a tourist. Is that so? Then it would be more fun to go to some planet from the station. Right you are, Tetsuo. I have to talk to people. I need people to tell me where Emeraldus is. Maytel said she was staying at a hotel near the station. Am I supposed to talk to Maytel? I mean, she did tell me that she was going to go chill in the hotel, but I'm like, but I want to go to other planets. And see what other cute girls are in the star system or whatever. That's, the, that's what Tetra's goal is, right? It has nothing to do with a machine or men. It's just 100% about meeting new cute girls, like Conductor Chan. So how do I get a date with Conductor Chan? That's my goal. Mm. Whoa, I never went this direction. Is there anything this way? Can I go inside here? 503. Room 503. That is not the, uh, Maytel room, I take it. That's room 502. And... I guess I'm supposed to talk to Maytel? Even though she was told to y'all, like, just, just go to another planet, kid. Enjoy your youth. I go in the bathroom? I have to wash off my Tetsuro musk. Tetsuro, Tetsuro, we... There's still time. Why don't you go see other planets? Well then, I'll do that. <laughs> they tell us seriously, y'all, like, what are you even doing here? Go to a different planet. Alright, just checking. Just in case. It's one of those cases where I have to talk to her five times in a row before I figure out what I'm supposed to do. Alright, I'm gonna go talk to that guy outside the station who was telling me about Emeraldus. So I could at least uh, see Emeraldus. She's also a pretty good looking lady. And she's like into Tetsuro shaped dudes. See here, where is Maytel's room? You really can't just ask like that, Tetsuro. Excuse me, but uh, how about the guests? Oh, it's Tetsuro Hoshino. Are you? Are you Tetsuro Hoshino? Yes, I'm looking. And room 501. After getting off the elevator, go to the end of the hallway and go to the farthest room on the left. Ah, oh, thank you. I already figured that on my own, though. But if I were in a real hotel setting, that would have been very useful. What was I say I was going to do? Oh yeah, I was going to go talk to the guy sitting on the bench. Because hopefully he'll tell me about Emeraldus. Then I could go look at Emeraldus. Then Maytel would be all like, oh snap, you talked to my sister? That's crazy. 
Alright, dude. If you want me to Emeraldus, go to Metabrady. Uh, maybe you can meet. Oh, thank you. All right, now I have a goal. My goal is Meta Brady. I don't know which which train station or which train will actually take me to Meta Brady, but I know that I want to go to Meta Brady. What's this? Oh, it's a post box. I don't have any mail. That's not a, that's not a thing. But it's time for me to go to Meta Brady because the guy outside the station told me to go to Meta Brady to find the cute girl who might beat me up. But Tetsuro may or may not be into that sort of thing. Will Conductor Chan take me there? <laughs> Okay, Conductor Chan is not taking me to Meta Brady. Tetsuro is pretending to not want to go to Meta Brady with Conductor Chan. But fine, I'll take a different train. It doesn't it's not really about whether or not Conductor Chan's train even goes to Meta Brady. What matters is that I want to take a train to Meta Brady, but also ride on Conductor Chan's train, preferably to Meta Brady. Can I just get on here? How do I get on a train to Meta Brady? Okay, I already listened to stories in town. The stories in town say to go to Meta Brady so that I can meet Emeraldus. At Meta Brady. Three, four. Hmm? Meta Brady Let's see here. The three four going to Meta Bra going to Meta Brady. Let's see here. First option is riding to Meta Brady, or the second option is not riding to Meta Brady. All right, shall we go? The answer is yes, Tetsuro. We're going. To Meta Brady. Is that is that Meta Brady? That we're gonna see the Meta Lady. Am I gonna see Emeraldus? Am I gonna see the friend that I shot at the beginning of the game? That would be dope. If he were here, what's his name again? I can't remember. Way back in uh uh I think that was like episode three or four of the Google Translates. All right, so buddy, where's Emeraldus? Show me the cute girl. Let's see here, there are a lot of thieves from here on, so it's best not to go there. Gosh, these guys literally gatekeeping. I could take care of thieves. I could punch a guy. Is that so? Well, then I'll stop. I will not go there. I will not go that direction. Unmeta Brady. Alright, uh... Anything interactable with these crates? Maybe I'll, like, accidentally... Whoa, whoa, oh, Well, I was scared for a second there. I thought I might have been stuck. Maybe I'll find, like, a, uh... Character card? Will I find a character card? Unmeta Brady. Wanna get all the secrets on Meta Brady? Um, oh, we'll check this set of crates. And a barrel. That's on Meta Brady. Gosh, really? No character cards from this? It just seems like a thing. It just seems like I'd find the secrets over there. The secrets of Meta Brady. Alright, um. Anything over here? No? Well, where the heck is Emeraldus? I was promised Emeraldus for coming here to Meta Brady. Whoa. I'm just making the uh, staircase disappear. 
I'm Meta Brady. Oh wait, is this where I find Emeraldus? I'm Meta Brady? In the bar? I'm Meta Brady? I didn't go to the wrong planet, did I? I will absolutely find Emeraldus. In Meta Brady. Ooh. Alright. One of you guys has to tell me where Emeraldus is. How come I'm not wearing my cloak? I feel like it's been a long time since I was Tetsuro wearing the cloak. The cloak and hat. That outfit's iconic, man. Why ain't you wearing it? Hey, bro, give me your cloak and hat so I can be proper Tetsuro. I'm at a Brady. Um, there's something I'd like to ask you. Let's see here, this guy's name is Ruff. What? Chibi, you're going to get in trouble if you wander around in a place like this. Did you just call me Chibi? You couldn't even translate Chibi. You're just gonna straight up call me Chibi. That ain't my name, sir. It's Tetsuro Hoshino. And I could punch guys for calling me Chibi. Um, there's something I'd like to ask you. What is it? Go away. There's no need for you to be... There's no need for you to be a kid. What? <laughs> I guess you, you tell him how it is, man. Well, look at this guy. It's Leiji Matsumoto. Um, there's something I'd like to ask you. Oh, he's just bartender. What is it? No, if, he, if he's a bartender, why is he on this side of the bar? And do you know anything about Machine Count? Or Count Mecha? Sana. Wait, what? Con Google. That's not English. Uh, do you want to save bartender data? Sure. Why not? I'll save the bartender data. There we go. I guess that just means that something's about to happen to me. In Meta Brady. I have no idea what's about to happen to me in Meta Brady. I hope I see I hope I see Emeraldus in Meta Brady. That's exactly why I came here to Meta Brady. I could look at the pretty lady. Medi the Meta Brady pretty lady. Where is she? Um Literally there's no one else here. Wait, can I interact with whatever this is? A Meta Brady? Well that looks totally interactable. That's a full 3D model. I'm not sure what Tetra would do with that bottle, but it totally looks grabbable. I am disappointed. I'm Meta Brady. All right, maybe if I walk out here, something will happen to me. I'll find something on Meta Brady. Hope I find a cutscene on Meta Brady. Right, and this is just to the train station, right? That's just the train station. I don't need to go that direction. Mid Brady. Ooh, okay, this is another direction. What's this? Oh, that's a machine man. One of them Kakai Ningen, so to speak. From here on, only metanoids can enter. I'm back. I'm back. Um. That didn't help me on Meta Brady, sir. I also like how um, how Google is using the term metanoid for machine men now. It's pretty impressive. But only on Meta Brady. 
Let's see, there are a lot of thieves. I'm aware of thieves. There are plenty of thieves on Meta Brady. Well, what I'm wondering is where is the pretty lady on Meta Brady? Emeraldus, are you over here? Are you in this corner? Are you hiding from me? Can I at least get a character card or something? Where's the secrets? I need to know the secrets. The secrets of Meta Brady. Alright, what's this? What's going on? This is different. This uh, this is a store exclusively for methanoids, humanoids. I should go to the store over there. You squishy humans. Go take your money elsewhere. Fine. I'll go elsewhere on Meta Brady. Take my little boy money. You think they serve ramen in this bar? Are there bars that sell ramen? Is that a thing? Ramen bar? Has to be a thing somewhere, right? <laughs> kind of like how in the, the US you go to a pub, buy a burger. Something I'd like to ask you. There's no need for you to be a kid. But what if I keep asking you, and I ask you again, again, about the only other guy on this planet? Only something I'd like to ask you. I hope you wander around this place. Tried talking to them a couple times, and that got me nowhere. Is the bartender helpful? I wish the bartender were helpful. Hold on. Oh, there's something I'd like to ask you. What is it? Do you know anything about Count Mecca? Sana. Want to save bartender data? The answer is no. I don't need to save my bartender data. It's fine for now. I don't need to save anything. Nothing's happened. I don't need to save profusely. Not right now. All right. So talking to people at the bar got me all of nowhere. And I didn't see anybody worth talking to. Maybe I need to go towards the train again. And maybe there's actually someone at the train station. I guess I'll go back to being a trader. Yeah, sure, I'll go back. Should I go back to trader and think about it? Sure. I'm going to leave Meta Brady because there's nothing to do in Meta Brady. I didn't even see Emeraldus. I'm really disappointed. That trip sucked. Well, maybe there's something over at the train station now. Maybe there's Emeraldus at the train station now, as opposed to Meta Brady. <laughs> why, do, why does that planet have such a strange name? Uh, let's gather more information and try again. There's only like two people to talk to, so... Should be, should be pretty easy. Go talk to someone over this way. Maybe I'll try talking to the guy outside the station again. The guy who first told me about Meta Brady. All right, let's see here. What does this guy say? If you want to meet Emeraldus, go to Meta Brady. But I went to Meta Brady, and there was nothing on Meta Brady. That was useful, useless information. But Tetsuro thanked you anyway, just because he's trying to be a polite boy. Um. 
Sofía hacía su arece. And do you know anything about Count Mecca? Count Mecca? Well, I don't know. Is that so? But if you want to hear that kind of thing, that kind of information, you should go to Planetary Username. Uh, Planet Username? Yeah, it's an up and coming uh, planet, but it's full of people looking to get rich quickly. What does that have to do with Count Mecca? Want that, sir? What are you saying? Are you developing it? Yeah, that's right. Therefore, information is naturally gathered. Planetary username. From here, you can get there. You can go to Hirame by local. Oh, thank you. Ah, oh, and it's probably best not to take the Magellan, the Magellan pleasure train for the time being, because it seems like it's coming. That's real. What are you saying? Is it a ghost that appears? Uh, they're pirates. They seem to be rowdy anyway. Okay, I'll be careful. All right. Well, at least that seems like a direction to go. You know, I should go talk to Mr. Conductor as opposed to Conductor Chan. Because I should probably save before going to another planet. <laughs> Got to save, even though I can save state. I always forget um, I am using an emulator for this adventure. So I can just kind of save state. Um, I still feel more secure doing it this way. There you go. We'll save the game. Ah, that feels so much more secure. Well, what happens if I try to talk to Conductor Chan again? Will she go on another date with me? I have to know. Maybe I can go on her train again, get attacked by pirates. Even though I'm pretty sure the uh, the train on the other side of the terminal is going to take me to the one they were talking about. Oh, that was the same conversation. Whatever, Tetsuo. Don't hang out with Conductor Chan. Live your life full of regrets. But yeah, I'm pretty sure it's this train that's supposed to take me there to the next place. The 3-3? Three, three. More like the 3-3-3 three, 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 Tetsuro. <laughs> Let's see here. Heading to planet username. The 3-3. Three, three. If I remember correctly, he mentioned that it's a place where a lot of information can be gathered. I thought I'd give it a ride. Yeah, let's ride it. I might be able to hear information about Count Mecca. That's the only reason we're going on this dang old train. Wow. Is that username? Is that the planet? I get to go here consensually? 
pretty snazzy. But it's not the planet Metabrady. I'm already in another bar. Alright. So we made it to this other planet, but looking at the time, it is time for us to end this episode. Maybe we'll get to the end of this chapter on the next Galaxy Express 39 journey next Thursday from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern Time. If you had fun along with us in this stream, go ahead and give this video a like and action smack that subscribe button so that it's easier to keep up with everything that we're doing on the Pixel Smackton channel. And if you're watching on Twitch side, go ahead and if you haven't already, action smack that follow button. But you know what? It's not a bad idea to do both. In fact, if you were to tell me that you were going to do both, I would say, heck yes, that's pretty cool. That's a good idea. <laughs> but anyway, thank you all so much for being here, and I will see you in the next Smack Chan Pact adventure. Have a good night, everyone.